Google Lens is one of the underrated Google apps. In this video, we'll see its potential. So, let us begin. Google Lens is for image search and there are multiple ways to open it and examine images. Open the app. This is its interface. On the top are screenshots, that's because most people search in their screenshots. After that is the camera section. The top is the camera and we can swipe down to activate it. The app also has translate and homework tabs that translate text and find math problems. Taking a photo or choosing one from here is the same thing, so you can capture one and then later search for it. You can also open lens while viewing a photo in Google Photos. This will open it up where you can do the same. The last way to open lens is in the Google search bar. Either tap this button here or tap this button in the image search. Let's open an image. This seems good. When you open a photo, the app finds things in that photo. If something's searchable, we find a box on that object. We can move this box and resize it. As you do, you'll find the results further down. Swipe up to see them. Here we go. Then we can go to those websites and buy those items or find out more about them. Let's see a live example. I'll open up the camera and then take a photo of this lotion. Lens will find it for me. When there's text, you'll see it highlighted. We can just tap on that text to search for it. The bottom results will be on the chosen text rather than the image now. We can copy this text, listen to it, translate it and do other things. To translate text, just tap the translate button. Google Lens will detect the language and translate it. You can change the language from the top. Let's try French to English now. Another useful feature is solving math problems. It does not solve complex ones but for simple to medium, it can do without any help. I have this example image containing a problem. We'll tap homework. If it's solvable, you'll find the answer below. You'll also find websites where those problems are mentioned. Now we'll scan the barcodes and QR codes. For the barcodes, you need to take a photo. Then tap the barcode to look for it. Don't tap the barcode number as it won't find it. Click the whole barcode. Here we go. We have the same products in the search results. The QR code is slightly easier. All you gotta do is show the camera this code. It will automatically detect it. When you see the URL, tap the share button or the link to open it. A cool thing that Google introduced some time ago was multi-search. It combines image and text search. Open up an image. You'll find this bar just below the image. Choose the area in the image and tap this bar. For example, I'll type buy and the app will understand that I want to buy this thing. It works pretty great. Here is another example. I want to purchase this product that is in a different language. I can just type. We have some suggested queries. Here we go. This is how multi-search works. The last topic is your history. Tap this icon to see your past searches. For the full list, scroll down and click here. So this is the end. Thanks for coming. I'll see you next time. Take care.